Therizinosaurs were among the most unusual theropod dinosaurs, and it's only in recent decades that we've begun to understand them more fully. Despite progress, they remain somewhat enigmatic. The first Therizinosaur fossil, Therizinosaurus chiloniformis, was discovered in southern Mongolia in the late 40s and formally described in the 50s. The find included large, elongated claws that led paleontologists to initially misidentify the animal as a giant turtle-like reptile, using its claws to harvest aquatic plants. This misinterpretation inspired the name Therizinosaurus, reaper lizard, and Chiloniformis, turtle-shaped. By the 70s, this turtle hypothesis was being questioned, and new, slightly better specimens reclassified Therizinosaurus as a strange theropod dinosaur. In the late 70s and early Igtais, fossils from a group of dinosaurs called Saniosaurs were found, showing a confusing mix of features that linked them to different dinosaur groups. During the 80s, these dinosaurs were sometimes classified as theropods, late surviving prosauropods, or even a whole new lineage of saurischians. However, similarities between Saniosaurs and Therizinosaurus soon became apparent, and the discovery of the more complete Alxosaurus in the early 90s confirmed that they were all part of the same group of herbivorous theropods. The name Therizinosaurus replaced Saniosaurus due to taxonomic rules giving priority to the earlier name. Reconstructions of Therizinosaurus from this time were somewhat awkward-looking, with a hunched neck, scaly skin, and an oddly small tail. But in the 90s, more discoveries began to clarify Therizinosaurus' evolutionary relationships, placing them within the Manoraptoran theropods, closely related to Oviraptorosaurs and Alvarosaurs. In 1999, the discovery of Bipiosaurus, a small Therizinosaur with filamentous feathers and quill-like structures, solidified their place as early bird-like dinosaurs. In the following decades, more Therizinosaur fossils were found across Asia and North America, expanding our knowledge of their biology, appearance, and ecology. Though much remains unknown, we now have relatively complete specimens like Nothronicus, fossilized footprints, more feather evidence, and even color patterns for Bipiosaurus. Egg and nesting site discoveries also suggest some clues about their behavior. Therizinosaurus itself remains represented by fragmentary material, but based on related species, we have a clearer idea of its characteristics. It lived in the Gobi Desert during the late Cretaceous, about 70 million years ago, and was likely the largest Therizinosaur in Manoraptoran, growing up to 10 meters long. It likely had a small, toothless head with a beak, a long neck, and a wide, pot-bellied body to accommodate a large plant-fermenting digestive system. While not as heavily feathered as smaller relatives, it may have been covered in sparse fuzz. Unlike typical theropods, Therizinosaurs walked on all four toes, with an enlarged dewclaw acting as an extra weight-bearing digit. Footprints suggest that larger species like Therizinosaurus may have walked flat-footed, although this could be due to track preservation. Given their odd anatomy, the interpretation is plausible. Therizinosaurus' defining feature was its hands, which had long, narrow claws that could reach 50 centimeters unlike the strongly curved claws of other Therizinosaurs, these were straighter and likely used for pulling vegetation, similar to the behavior of later mammals like calicotheres and ground sloths. This slow-moving dinosaur likely relied on its size and claws for defense, using its bulk to deter predators. It may have sat on its robust hips while browsing, and could have displayed its claws aggressively when threatened, possibly resembling a giant, goose sloth. 